Okay, I hope the camera is on. So, um, hello guys, Luke here, and um, this is um, actually guys, if if you guys are serious, how to up, Jesus, Jesus. So, yes, um, this is um, unexpected trace video. Now, listen, originally I do not want to do this, but um, there is something that I want to share with you. Uh, first of all, um. So first of all, the, uh, subscribe to this channel if you guys want some more train set, random train set videos, if you, if you guys can say. So, um, I'm gonna try and allow myself to have four train set videos on the on the road, because this is, once again, this is unexpected. So, once again, or maybe this is actually as count as a train set video. So, I do not know. Let's just get in this video. So, remember, once again, do sure to please click the subscribe button if you are new to this channel and if you are a fan of train set driver too. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, in sync mode with uh, your uh, trains. So yeah, that's why it's unexpected because I never do any tutorial on train set before. Because uh, if you just turn train set driver two, there will be you know how to drive or something like that video. I don't I I don't do these. But now I finally found it. Okay, now guys, I finally found the method of doing this. So I actually did this before. Um, now first of all, let's just get into it, okay? So right now, um, if you want to do it in sync, um, if you do an in sync mode, you know, like you don't, you know, like, you know, like you don't need to use your hand, uh, just to, you know, maneuver your hand or your fingers, and then you know, just, you know, take a shot, um, I highly recommend you not do that if you, if you want to, but if you are just going by yourself, now I'm definitely going to, um, so, um, let me show you. So, what the first thing you're going to do is, uh, first of all, um, to the people that didn't have, or ha to the people that didn't have, um, so, Jesus Christ. I mean, so the first thing you want to do is actually buy a map or a route called London Sub uh, Subaria Transport. Now, this map, or this route, includes two a uh, little weird little thing so if i okay so i'm gonna let you guys see because i haven't even like do any scenarios on it on any youtube video so if you guys want uh, want me to do it uh do sure to please go down in the comment section below to just do you know um some you know maybe i have a ch uh, maybe i'm gonna maybe have a chance of actually having a random tutorial or you know or, or i don't know random crap of doing doing some you know doing those scenarios in the london subtitle area so the thing you're gonna have see my god there's like loads of different items here and i hate sometimes i hate it i sometimes i don't hate it so i don't know so here's some random tracks i'm just gonna set a demonstration now if we go up here uh you will see these two uh i'm gonna do this uh can you guys hear it i don't know So let me add them. Oh, okay, here you go. So now, as you can see, these are the trams you're going to get after you get that London, uh, London Subway Transport map. Or you know, yeah, I'm gonna call it map. So you get these trams, uh, as you can see. These trams look absolutely amazing, by the way. You can actually add people in it. I do not know, but not so much. Uh, and yes, um, why a Ludwig? Uh, you might ask. Ludwig, why is there like, uh, you know, these things? Originally, like, so normal trains, I'm gonna give a class 88 for example, supposed to be have these arrows on the end of the train, uh, you know, end of the whole train or consist, but these are in the middle. The, uh, the reason why is that is because you need to add these two babies. Now, these two are the trolley, you know, cables or the trolley rig or something. Or you get a pentagram. So if you add it, add here. There we go. You complete the whole consist. See now, this is how it works. So you got a little cable over here, and then do the same. But you use this one, the tram double decker rule. This thing. See, as you can see here, it's completed, and we. I will show you later. I do not know, but hey. So I'm gonna give you a little mini review. I guess why not? I'm kind of bored. 
uh, you can try and add passengers, but that passenger doesn't even work for some reason. See, it, 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 it doesn't even work. And this is... Don't even know what the hell is this, though. Uh... Yeah, I got, you know what, just, I'm just gonna concentrate on adding passengers. <laughs> See, I mean, it doesn't work, but, um, there is this guy, ra ra there's, there's like a random guy coming up the stairs, that's nice. And it looks like, there's like, the ticket. Okay, kind of detail, but hey, tram, the tram car, tram whatever, I don't know. No joke, these are like, the trams in Hong Kong, or in Hong Kong Island. Which mainly runs from Causeway Bay. Uh, you mainly see them in Causeway Bay, uh, but not in Chin Chai Joyous, I'm sorry. Mainly, you know, tourists go to there. These are actually really historical trams in Hong Kong, actually, not gonna lie. Uh, they're actually going for the new third generations uh, later. Uh, so yeah, the old trams, we got, you know, we got replaced by the new one, one, so... By the way, um, you get, yes, um, what happens if you just straight up slam it on a tram car? This will happen. The two-in-one trap. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah. So, let's not waste any time. Let's just go into uh, the tutorials, shall we? So, so today we are going to use this tram here, which is the tram Presley 4W Open Top. Now, this is the one. Okay, so this is the one. We're going to use this this uh, tram as our tool to do the in sync mode. Now, let's randomly get onto a route and now i already got myself uh actually no i didn't i mean i don't right now so let's just randomly find one or click one or whatever you want so right now just use whatever okay just whatever route or layout you want okay so it's time to i print i announced that message i want to tell so to the people that didn't have um Where's that London thingy? Oh, here it is. So the people that don't have London Subtorial trans uh, Transport, um, highly recommend you to do this video. I mean, jeez. Sorry guys, today is not my day. I'm like, I got in Pokemon Show, I played Pokemon Showdown and I got kicked ass a lot, a lot of time, so. Uh. So I mean, to the people that want to know how to do insane modes, but doesn't have London uh, Subtorial Transport, um, and to the, uh, I highly recommend you watch this video, uh, both to uh, have the you know to the people have London Superior uh, Transport. Uh, if you want to do it in Saint mode or how to do it, or uh, you, you know uh, if you are going to get the new you know if, if you're going to get trying to get this route in the future, uh, highly recommend you watch this video if you want to you know, try and be in sync for your train. So I'm gonna find uh, where is that though? Now listen this. Um, in sync mode bit, I can, uh, you guys can probably only do it with only a certain amount of engine or some sort, because it's ridiculous of how, like, weird or some, uh, some say it's hard to just in sync with other trains, so, uh, most mainly useless for, um, but if you, like, if you're trying to use it using in sync mode with a steam train, uh, I'm pretty sure you're not going to do it, um, I highly, re I highly recommend you to not do it with Mallard or Flying Scotsman because they can go, go over like 100 miles per hour, so do not do that, the tram can't handle like 100 miles per hour if I remember correctly. I do not know, but we will try later if you, if you want to do it, do it, because the tram acceleration, uh, if you, once again, uh, the tram acceleration is basically the same as the Japanese uh, JR trains, uh, which is, where is that though? What the? What the? What? No, no, no. Wait, what's happening? Uh, guys? There's an error. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is what happened today. Um, the freaking... The whole data got like erased it for some reason, and then it's because it's like it just completely got like junked up. Screw it, we're not gonna using that engine today. Um, American engines since they're pretty like pretty slow, definitely highly recommend if you want to use it use it and train the driver too. If you want to once again, if you want to do it in sync but in a, in sync mode. So yeah, like these uh JRH are uh, say like 
these trains, okay, these two, they are like having the same acceleration power, so... But today we're not using them, we're using the tram, so um, where's... Ah, here it is, our baby P2, Mr. Wallace, um... So... I'm gonna do a little demonstration, so... So, for example, you randomly put a random concept, first of all, uh, you, you can copy me, uh, you just... Choose whatever engine you want because this is a test subject, just a test subject, okay, guys. Oh my god, seriously, man, I had to fix the like the American train issue. Jesus Christ, never had that issue before. Weird. Well, still, I'm going to fix it in the future or later today. I don't know. Um, I'll try my best, I guess. <laughs> so, and then I just randomly put some consists or coaches. So, I just want a Mac. I just I, I want. How? But wait, are you the one? No, you're not. But, you, but hey, he's the one on like the new train. So uh, yeah, recommend you bought it, I guess. For some reason, it's going laggy as hell in train set. What the hell? Don't say it's a long range train. Hour. Oh my god, please don't. Everything is lagging out here. Jesus Christ. I'm um, sorry about the lag, guys. Apologies. Oh, uh, okay. Oh my god. I just wish the freaking cons is, man. That, like, it, it just isn't wasn't safe for me when, like, the freaking cons are gonna come freaking spawn the damn train. God damn it. I'll probably need to fix it. I don't know. Ugh. Find a random coach. And then, you know what? I think I'm, I think we're, I think I'm happy that I want to pull some, um, Orange Express coaches. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? I'm feeling, I'm feeling like pulling some random Pullman coaches or Orange Express coaches. I, I do not know though, but, but hey, um, easy to spot on. Um, these are look like Pullman coaches and they are like British Pullmans, and these are basically the original Orange Express coaches. I do not know, but hey, we just your just your guess, okay? Is your guess? <laughs> so let's pull some British Pullman, then, shall we? Uh, we're not. We can put a limit of them. <laughs> Man, these like um company international des wagon lady des grand express France <laughs> So th these are my France language. <laughs> no 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 that's just a weird guy there. Uh, I don't know. Okay, there we go. So this is your concept for example. Um uh, for my side, uh, highly recommend you to, if you actually have the P2, um, highly recommend you actually trying to get the P2 itself, because, let me tell you, it is actually more easier, or if you have guys actually, hold on, I uh, recommend you, if you, if the people, to the people that want to try and do some more in sync modes, uh, highly recommend you, if you have, um, the A4 black, you know, the Thompson black, A4, or you can just uh or the p2 because th these maybe have have the both basically the both uh weird ass acceleration of some sort but hey so this is our train and the next job you're gonna do is uh spawn your tram which is the you know the tram that i showed you before um this is it yeah this one um you can spawn the pentagraph or not but i like it because i like the pentagraph you know i like the pentagraph because why not so right now you need to do the reverse it Okay, you need to reverse it, and then, in Rosa Valley, um, you're going to need to put it on the opposite track, okay? So, because, you know, the, do you even want to be, you know, having a collision with your train then? If you don't want to, then yeah, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't mind me, just go, go ahead and do it. So, yes, now, since, uh, Wallace, you know what, I'm just going Mr. Wallace, because he's one of my, uh, future characters in, uh, the railway stories of Wasworth. So yeah, uh, so you go into this track. Uh, so the people that so for so for example, okay. So like for example, sometimes uh American locomotives. Sometimes I don't know, I don't know is it going on the right side as the front. I do not know. I do not know anything about American American guys. I'm uh, sorry about that. Um, so if it's our you know like your train is heading using this way, you know this direction as a track, then you will. Or you definitely need to put the put your tram, uh, you know, put put the crap. Uh, you know, you definitely need to put the tram over here. 
Okay, so you, you definitely need to put the tram uh, right over here. And let me see. Hmm. Wait, hold on, guys. Uh, people, wait, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure about this, but I think you need to, like, do it in front. I do not know. I, okay, so listen, um, guys, I do not know anything about American locomotives because, uh, if this channel doesn't work, then I'm, so, I'm, apologies then, uh, because I never know that. I kind of forgot because I actually did it, did this before, but I just forgot, guys, okay? So, mainly use some British, uh, if you, the people that I want to use American, uh, American locomotives and do some insane modes, uh, continue to watch the video. Um, I might found, found something out. I do not know, but hey. So, um, yes, this is the opposite track, which is over here. Yes, and you definitely need to put it this way. Because, uh, if you put it on the opposite direction, you, when you look out, because from here, right? And you need to look out from the cab. So, right, right, no, right, no, look, look at the left. Uh, the ladder at all the stairs are actually blocking your view. So, do not do that. You put it right here. Like this, you know, and the, with the train opposite direction. So, after everything set, you know what, I'm just going to say everything just actually set. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, so, uh, you just set everything up. I think I believe that's switched up. There we go. There we go. Okay, everything is set. Uh, now, we just need to just go, I guess. So, don't need to touch anything. This is just a test run, so... What the sh... Holy... What? Screw it. I hope that... I really just hope that it's an error, because I just call like this long like 70 minutes um in thing. I, I do not know this hope this will work because most of the scenario got deleted when like the, the freaking whole data of the train set got erased it for some reason for no reason okay once again i'll fix this issue after that because they like completely ruined my whole train set I, Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Is that okay? Thank goodness it was okay, Wallace. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Now, this is a concept, right? Now, since everything is set, your messenger's on, blah, blah, blah. And then you just, just can set off. Once again, I recommend you to do it with the P2 because it's much more easier. With a more slow acceleration, um, then it, uh, your tram will have much more time to prepare. And now, what's up with what saying the tram? Now, three, two, one. Now, even though acceleration is not really fast, is it uh, kind of okay fast then, I guess? Because, no joke, it's absolutely amazing. So if you just do that, this is what you do. The, the panel would like to do it like this. So, yes, uh, do not go or please. So, once again, um, no, once again, Jesus Christ. So you can whether you you you, you can just uh, rather put the pentagon on or not because it doesn't matter. You just need to go into Cathy soon, sooner or later. So, um, so yeah, the Peter and the Thompson is like the perfect match for the tram to do some more insane, you know, insane modes because of um, since they are going too slow, and then the tram needs more time to get the, up the speed. So yeah, so that's the part with the uh, Wallace. Let's go eighty percent. Okay, so here, so this. Okay, so here, water go now. Tram, go to the tram right now, and then go to the cab. As you can see, and when you go into the cab, when you straight up forward, you have nothing. You have nothing blocking the view. No, no cab view. No bunch of other stuff. Because if you look down, I mean, look down. See that there is that's the control because this is like lean out a lot. But if you do this. See, like, there's, like, an empty space, so the maximum you can do as a in-sync mode, so that's the Wallace departing from the platform, uh, you, you can only do like this. Okay, you can only have a certain out of angle to, like, this is, like, the most certain angle you, you can get. So as you can see, Wallace is, like, catching us right now, so we do reverse completely. Let's try reverse. Uh, for some reason, this works. 
I don't know, but hey. Um, you know what? Yeah, American people, uh, if you have people that want American trained to do it, insane people, uh, insane, I'm sorry. But hey, I, I, I guess, but I, I, well, I will tell you how to make, how to do it though. So, now what there is, Wallace is catching up. So yeah, Wallace, well, you know, so as you see, Wallace, Wallace is catching up. Now you reverse, see? You can, like, barely catch up with the, with the, uh, with the, with the train. Since I do, like, with in sync with Wallace always, so uh, now, now, okay. So now, as you can see, we are in sync with our locomotive. But it's hard to to maneuver because, uh, for like, for your uh for a certain amount of camera, uh, if you want to do like really really far, now as you can see now, Wallace speeding up, so it's hard to control. Uh, yeah. Once again, you're definitely gonna need to more te uh, techniques just to actually make up, you know, make using uh, to actually trying to make uh the whole insane thing you work. So as you can see here, we are in sync with Mr. Wallace here. See? Well, I'm, I'm t not touching anything. This is just brilliant. So as you can see, he's speeding up really, really fast. Um, so yeah. See, as see, we are, are actually in sync with Wallace. And in Crazy Malaysia, a 2019 of a bunch of our stuff, um, it will lag if you are trying to in sync with the train. But if you do it in train set, it have no errors completely, as you can see in the screen, or as in, in as in the video. You see now, Wallace picking up speed. You know, like you can just do it like this. It's easy. Now around, I'm guessing the Wallace like going around like 40. Yeah, I mean like 40, some sort. So as you can see, him speeding up. Oh, by the way, guys, um, if you guys don't want him, like, you know, if you don't want the engine to actually try to crash into whatever object or any train in front of him, um, now, okay, so I'm gonna stop, same as the tram, uh, I still need to catch up the train, so, it, like, for example, if you want to do it at a certain point, you know, where the train should stop, um, now, there is a thing called, um, uh, uh, commands, okay, there's a, a coding command, so yeah, I actually tried those before, it's absolutely amazing in this map, that's why I chose this map as a test, uh, experience, uh, experience map, little place where I test, test out lo loads of things. So for example, so first of all, you go to the engine yourself, you know, the engine you're, you're going to, you're in sync with, I think, you go to, uh, the driver itself. So, and then, in this map, you just need to find, first of all, go to the station, the very, very next station over here, for example. Uh, and then you just zoom out, and then find, there it is, so as you can see, there's like, uh, Apple, Apple Wear Platform 1 year L, yell. Uh, by the way guys, if you guys are playing on the phone, you cannot do it on the iPhone, because the whole screen won't even fit, so this this is the only thing you can do here. So Apple Wish. Now, as you can see, there's this Apple e one platform E L. Okay. Now, before we do that, we want to straight up get back to the engine first, right? Because we don't want to just let the train go by itself and waste the you know, like waste the less a little bit time for the sh for the whole shot. Now, do this. Wait. Tell the train to wait for around, I'm guessing like, okay, I'm guessing two minutes because I need to command. I will just get rid of it too. So as you can see, there's no control. It's automatic. It's, right now it's automatic. Um, now drive to, make sure it's drive to track mark. If you, if you choose drive to FIA, if you guys don't know what FIA means, means through. So that means drive through track mark. You need to, but you need to choose drive to track mark, okay? So press EL. So meaning that the train will go, uh, will depart. Uh, after um, in two minutes, so, uh, and then we have we're supposed to have the time to get back our tram. And once you get back to the tram, you will have the automatic control thingy. So if you go back to Ida, you get rid of this, this, and then you will just automatically go. So you have no worries. You can stop anywhere you want. So this is a mini control of the coding or, or train set, as you can see here. So you have no worries of controlling the train. You know, you know of where. The train's supposed to be stopping, or just do random mixing, you know, you know, retaking uh, any any shots. Uh, you can just 
using the command just to uh, to arrive whatever at, you know whatever station you want to be. So yeah, that's why. As you can see, what is these like loads of speed to speed up? Because after a few miles, after a few miles, that's the busy station, man. You can see we are starting to be in sync with them. Well, once again, uh, if you don't want to, you know, like seeing the optional in the black bit, you know, the signal, mile, the miles per hour bit at the time, um, and, uh, you know, the driver icon, the books, a bunch of stuff. If, you use, if you're using iMovie or, whatever, or something like that, um, definitely I recommend, uh, recommend you that using the tram to actually uh, use it as far as possible so the camera can fit in the you know you can actually fit with the whole train so if you if it doesn't fit then you're the whole video is screwed up not even kidding and i'm joking so what is going like 20 or something see no problem completely no problem no problem let's see see you can just Leave it out there, leave, leave it Wallace, right behind the wind, and then you can just do whatever you want. See? Look, it just looks absolutely amazing. And then, uh, to the certain angle, if you don't want to, you know, see this angle. So, as, okay, so as you can see, the, the handle over there, right? Once again, you do not want to, like, go through that certain certain point, because um, you can at least push here. That's the maximum if you are... Uh, recording what you know trying to record without the black bit and the uh, driver coding bit um definitely recommend you to with do it without the um, a whole handrail bit so the maximum is right here uh, if you go through this point and then you screw and then you completely screw up the whole shot okay so do not do that okay guys do not do this because this will look bad as you can see now we're near the station wall is supposed to be slowing down right now I think. As you can see, I'll see slowing down, I think. Hopefully. As you can see, yep, he's slowing down. We can even sync with him in the platform, too. And stop! There it is. You complete the insane tutorial. See, it's, it's it's it is really fun if you just want to actually I don't know trying to in sync with your train and then you know like you don't need just to you don't even need just just to actually uh you know uh to to be fair or to say this uh easily you don't need to use your finger like for example uh sometimes my iPad doesn't even like react to my finger because it just complete error and it just don't. Like what I'll show, like for example, if I just press here and then suddenly press the amount of consoles. Um, yeah, now you, you, you do not want, want that. Highly recommend you to actually buy the tram bit and then you just use it on any other trains and then try it in sync with. Um, yes, um, yes, this definitely works, but um, okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of experiment once again. Uh, never tested that before, so uh. I, you can just clone and just place it here, and uh, that's okay. Uh, we can try and do it in the cab. Oh yes, we can. Okay, never mind then. Um, yes, you can. Uh, so right now, for the any any locomotive, uh, you know, American locomotive fans, um, I'm going. Uh, okay, so what American train? Uh, you know what? Yeah, big boy. I'm going to print that big boy. Okay, easy peasy, big boy. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, gee. Whoa, whoa. Careful there. Careful there. What the blooming hell just happened? What the blooming hell just happened? Screwed up. Screw you, man. Uh, where is it? I just need a random concert, please. Uh, I need a... I need, a, I need American looking mode, man. Uh, I just want one that is really, really short. Uh, 
you're a big boy. It's lagging! Crap! Oh my god, must be the new new train. Oh my flicking god. React to my Jesus Christ. Oh oh right. Okay, uh freaking lagging and I hate to admit that that's like stupidly lag the fuck there you go there's a mountain type sorry about the no big boy sorry about that this is just a test once again so, so okay so if you like do this okay now but okay now big problem is um you can only do it in the from the front or from the back of of uh, actually from the looks. As you can see, uh, I'm gonna do a little demonstration so mount that if you please. I can see now mountain type is departing. That's my maximum over here. Uh, especially that you can like look down at the wheels when it's moving, that's like most the most legit ones. Dude, that looks amazing, man. So, okay, so let's. Okay, I'm gonna tell you about the, this tram top speed. So, I'm gonna have to say goodbye because we don't need you. Thank you very much. But no worries, guys. I once again, I will tell you about uh, how to. Uh, you know. Okay, so it is. So the maximum top speed of the whole tram is 78 miles per hour. We delete this go back to you so once again uh, so you guys might ask Ludwig so if you're saying that on the British side you can only do one side so British side is from looking at the front of the engine but on the American side looking from the back of the engine then how could I you know switch cameras though you know like I'm putting the camera for example from the British side looking out from the back of the engine now you guys have a point uh, before that I just want to say that if people are actually half flying Scotsman uh, I will try and demonstrate to you or you guys can actually just test it out whatever you want uh, so uh, let's try and test it out can we do it on a Mallard or or no on a flying Scotsman so let's just randomly spawn, spawn them two on the road now that's easy enough. So before I get the solution to you guys, I just wanna get the people that demonstration or to get the clear or uh you know can those two handle uh the job because once again um Mallard and Flying Scotsman can barely go like over like a hundred miles per hour, right? But the tram can only go like seventy eight miles per hour. Now that is a big problem. You now that's a big problem. And and now, uh, you do sure to need to let the engine itself to try and, um, you know, trying to be in sync with the tram. Because, the tr once again, the tram is, like, so slow, it can only go, like, 70 miles per hour. But, like, Mallard and Flying Scotsman can, like, go, like, legitimately extremely fast. So, meaning that, Ma meaning that Mallard and Flying Scotsman uh, needs to, you know... Uh, slow them, slow them down, slow them themselves to like seventy-eight miles per hour, or under seventy-eight miles per hour. So if it's going over, then the is in, in sync will go, will gone completely bad. So yes, I'm just gonna once again, I'm gonna randomly. Sp oh my god, not the not the Thompson, thank you, not the Thompson. Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah, once again, recommend you to actually use it with Wallace, even though he can go only like go like around like ninety or eighty. It's accelerating so slow. You can do you can do it, guys. You can do it. You can do it with any train. Us uh, any. But the more easy uh the trains that you know. Uh, the more trains that can only like go under like seventy eight miles per hour. 
the more easier you can in sync with them. Okay, so that's what I want to say. <laughs> What's from some rat Mark One coaches? Why the freaking not? So randomly put some coaches. No joke, I'm enjoying myself. Train said, "Um, am I gonna buy Train Set Drive? It's a uh, uh, Train Set Simulator 12 on the PC. I do not on uh, the laptop. I do not know. Hope it's not lagging when I bought the train. Oh my freaking god! Let's fix this goddamn issue. Jesus Christ! Uh, you know what? Yeah, Mark Two. Mark, well, yeah, why not Mark Two? I like the Mark Two. They look amazing. Screw the P2, man. Still, I need to fix this issue a little bit. Hold on, give me that second. I'm gonna do this issue really quick. Uh, there you go. Okay, so there you go. Uh, by the way, guys, um, remember, I am not only doing this with Steam and the Steam engines. Uh, I can actually do it. You guys can actually do it with the uh, diesel and uh, uh, and the other locomotives. But one problem. Once again, the all other trains can go over like seventy-eight miles per hour. And once again, you do not want to go over seventy-eight miles per hour. If you want to, then they're in sync. Mode will be just completely destroyed, and yes, um, for the TGVs on AVEs, a Cell Express, a bunch of uh, and etc., you definitely come because the acceleration for them is extremely fast, especially the AVE because the AVE can just overtake the whole tram in like legitimately one second barely. So. Once again, you can only settle them into like 78 miles per hour. If you want to go with them, then you have no choice but to abandon the insane mode. That's what I want to say. Uh, okay, so... Oh, by the way, guys, um, the plane does work, but it is really noisy. So yeah, that's why I recommend you recommend it to do it with the tram. The tram is more quieter, even though you got like squeaky sounds. Um... So when you're like doing, you can only do it while it's running, but you can't brake. That's the brake problem. You can move it really carefully or smoothly, so it won't make squeaky sounds. I do not know, but this is the best you can do. I do not know. Will I use this in? You know, I do not know. Will I use this in sync mode in my uh, railway stories of Rollsworth? I do not know that, but hey. So let's test them out. And um, see how it goes then. Maybe it will go well, maybe it will actually. Yeah, screw it. We're gonna do like two of them in one shot, so. Just one station, and then I will just tell you how to fix the is other issues. Um, yeah. But mainly, by the way, guys, um, you cannot do that in like these official routes, uh, routes because. Uh, the tram won't be ha will be you know there's like no tracks for the tram so you have no choice but to abandon them. Uh, why well, is there no drivers? What the hell? Isn't this weird? It's oh, never mind then. Uh, uh, it's cause man, uh, my lord. There you go, so, right now, uh, we are going to do it with Mallard first, because... Or maybe Flying Scotsman? Yeah, maybe Flying Scotsman first, because... Who doesn't love Flying Scotsman, eh? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know that everybody loves Flying Scotsman, but hey, over overrated sometimes. Um, so, we're gonna make... Are you Alan? Yes, you are Alan. And we're gonna take you... Just to... So wait around two minutes. Drive to A in an EL. Get back to the tram. Get ready to in sync. 
once again, um, if, if it's if it's in our Rolls of Rally Railway, um, mind you, you do not want to mess with this. Uh, why did I say that? Because there's like a section where you can go like 80 miles per hour, and like the tram won't be able to like catch up with the whole train. So it's a bus on that section sometimes. So uh, let's get rid of the command for Alan for the waiting. Let's get him going, then, shall we? As you can see now, Flying Scotsman is moving. We're gonna go and take a look, anyways. So as, you, as you can see, this, it makes like loads of noises, so... Yeah. If this video is one hour, I'm sorry. As you can see, now flying is going to come speed. Make sure to go smoothly as possible to in sync with the whole tr with flying scotsman here. You guys want, okay, so you know what, I'm, we are going to just try and sync with the wheel. My dude, this looks amazing, man. Swing down, because why not? I want to see the back too. We're going to go full speed. And as I'm running a little bit, As you can see, now flying is almost taking up speed. Thirty-four, thirty-five. As you see, he's going more faster and faster. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm getting adding out of that, and let's try and get him into a hundred miles per hour, then, shall we? So let me tell you, the wrath of Flying Scotsman is absolutely harsh. The reason why I said that you won't be able to work on Flying Scotsman and Mallard is because of this reason. See? I don't even know how fast it's going. Jesus! It, it looks so good when you're in sync with the whole train, man. Look at it, man. Look. You can see the detail of the wheels. As you can see, the tram is starting to can't catch up with the whole train right now. Let's see say full speed is sorry. Fifty. I'm gonna make Adam go for a bit faster too. Nine. We need to go fast. Oh. I don't know how fast he's going, but hey. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna do it with Mallard, by the way. Something I don't know. Why is it now? What the heck? Uh, some errors on there. Uh, hello, what the hell? I'm gonna speed up onto it. Okay, now 76, 76. Now, as you can see, the tram's starting to like slow down and you can't catch a flying scotsman here, see? And it just lets off flying children out of the way. But that's one issue. Same with Mallard. Let's just quickly do a scenario. Uh, quickly, you know, like random scenario. And then I'll just end the video. Because I, want, I don't want this freaking tutorial to get like long last. It's pretty long, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's do it again. This time with Mallard. Probably everybody's swiping like, huh, you know what? I think we're gonna do a mallard, but hey, 
Um, yes, Model have high acceleration. I like definitely uh, as a bit as a good engine. You highly recommend to buy it. Um, where you can get Malot though? Well, you can actually get it uh, in the route map called Scottish Highlands. I recommend you buy it to try buy it because there's a British twist in like appeared in freaking uh, in freaking or uh, uh, what Harry Potter in the Harry Potter movie. It's a, it's brilliant. So or Seth. I think I think now see okay now see see now I let me see the wrap of this area of freaking my life. See this this is this is this is this is Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna give you top speed. Okay, revert the drill. Okay, so let's do it. I just want to do it really quick okay, because I don't want to even do it. Where is it going? Where is it going? As you can see now, 72! Even though we can try instant with Mallard, we can't anymore. Because Mallard is bloody catching up really damn fast, see? No chance! No bloody chance of catching Mallard. Even though he's an to like 78, see? Just, you can just say goodbye to Mallard in one shot. Like, after like, until you got, got to like, 100 miles, or 120 miles per hour. Then you just say goodbye. Okay, so when Mallard reaches or go, is trying to go over 78, and that shot is it. And then the rest of the shot, and then you just drive the whole train by yourself and then get get rid of the tram for yourself. Okay, so here we go. So people will ask, I, I already tell you the solution already before. It Ludwig, what happens if uh your train go faster than whatever then? Or I mean Jesus Christ, I mean then if you're trying to use a, an American locomotive, how are you going to do it then? Well, um, now, for example, there's like two tracks only here. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, uh, okay, so I'm about, uh, I'm about to end this tutorial, by the way. Uh, just, and then you need to, Okay. Uh, invisible track. Where are you? Invisible track. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna put a random American locomotive. Uh, why not? Yeah, Amtrak, why not? Freaking loud. And as a random coach for you, man. First of all, duh. I know this is a test. Uh, you guys can try and do it by yourself in the test, test map, but not in other uh, actual official routes because it doesn't work like that, okay? Guys, it doesn't work. Amtrak, Amtrak, yes, it's some coach. So now, as you can see, uh, there's an Amtrak train over here, and then he's running on the right side. But, once again, Ludwig, how are you going to try and sync? Like, from the, uh, this time, from the back. I mean, from the, in the front. As in same as the British ones. Well, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Now, follow my steps, okay? Guys, if you wanna do this, then follow my steps. First of all, Make you must make an invisible track once again. You can only do it in in the normal maps uh, or your self created maps because if it if this it, because it doesn't work in other version maps. So after after you make the whole whole layout of the or the whole outline of the whole route or your actual route, and then you add the trams. Okay. And then you do this. You you pull it in, in the right of in the front of the train. And then and you go into drive mode, go into the cab, and you see the locomotive. And you'll drive when you're driving the locomotive, you will see the train right beside you. And yes, same as the British locomotives. I'm gonna do it with the oh, class. Why not? I mean, I mean class. What is? Uh, why did I just say class 800? I mean class 88. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Uh. For example, uh, Brando just. So as you can see, 
The coach is right here. He's playing on like the past 80 years according to the coach's right. Since he's on, on the earlier, uh, he's, since he's going on the left side, how are I going to do it on the, uh, on, the, on the back? Well, since uh, we need another little track. Since as you can see, uh, the tracks over here, from the other side, I mean. There we go. And yes, so here. So for example, I'm gonna need to put the trams again. So for example, your now your tram is here. What the flip? Screw you. Uh, so as you can see, like the tram is now trying to be in sync. But once again, if you're trying to on the, using the other tracks, the lad, the stair will block you. Well, once again, you just need to do the same as the uh, American, lo American locomotive, uh, locomotive once. Oh, I mean, well, not once, once. Just make another outli outline of the outline, or the outline of the track. And then you just basically build, and then, you know, when you're trying to get on from the back of the train, and then you go in a cab, and voila, there you go, you can insync the train at the right from the back. There's, this is how you do it. Okay, this is how you do it. But can you do it from the opposite side though? No, you cannot. The tram only can do it on this side, but you cannot do it on the other side. Um, You can only do it at, like, at the back. So you can see now the tram is over here. Once again, you can only do it from the back, not from the other side. So, you know, see, as you can see, you can only do it from here. Even though, okay, even though you turned, you turned around, trying to do it, it it's just basically getting, trying to get reversed though, okay? See, see, as you can see, the ladder's on the right side, and then the other end is, in, in the, in the, in the, the head is the stairs on the left side, and then, the back stairs on the right side, as you can see in the turn, nothing changed. See, they're basically on the same side, the, the stairs, so you can only do it in one single direction. So, this is how you instinct the train, guys. So, um, well, guys, um, that is all for today's uh, tutorial. Actually, I just want to check just in case for my subway map because, uh, hold up, they didn't get released, you know, re erased it. Oh my freaking god, this is. Oh my god, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> so, last time we worked on here, so yep, these two custom modes go. So, once again, guys, uh, thank you all so much. Um, so this is how you do that. What the bloody doubt, man? This off. Uh, oh, great. Um, uh, pre okay, so. Guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, me meteor random tutorial video. Do sure to please give this uh, video a like or thumbs up if you think that this uh, tutorial is actually really, really useful to you. You know, trying to do some more in sync mode or in sync king with your trains and train set. And also, uh, please do sure to please uh, click that subscribe button. And if you guys want to check out some more. Uh, Train set videos, Absol 9, and Commandos, Let's Go, and Mario Kart, etc. Do just please click the uh, punch the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to never ever miss a video. And see you guys in the next video then. Ludo's Wick signing off. Peace out and have a nice day. Bye.